All right, guys, here's the scope. Downtown Vancouver, the average cost of an apartment around here, $2,500 to $3,000 a month. Everyone has shot movies here from The Rock to Johnny Depp. Take a little walk, you got a nice beach. Walk a little more, you've got the Gucci store, Prada. Now walk a little bit further, and you come to East Hastings Street, the worst street in all of Canada. All of the city's poverty and drug addiction has been squeezed into a couple blocks right here. Hey man, do the cops just let everyone camp here? Like, how does that work? They, they just leave you guys alone? Literally watching these guys smoke crack from my car. Okay, would you do a quick interview with me? What are you doing out here? So it's literally your job just to pick up garbage on the street? Yeah. Like make sure there's no needles or anything? Yeah. So you're picking up trash. Look at all of the needles in there. How long did it take you to get all of those? Uh, this is about half an hour. This was all in half an hour? Uh -huh. Missed the spot. Alright guys, this is my friend Cody. So, correct me if I'm wrong, you are a full-time artist now, but you used to run around doing sketchy shit on Hastings a lot. Absolutely, that's 100% accurate. So tell me, tell me your Hastings story, because it's probably the best one I've ever heard. Yeah, so uh, I would have been maybe 19. Anyway, so one of these days that I was living down here, I, uh, I wanted to buy some weed. I had like 10, 15 bucks cash on me, maybe 80 bucks to my name and my bank account. And uh, I found this girl, she looked chill, she was cool, and a little bit dingy, but uh, I didn't care back then. <laughs> yeah. um, so I was like, yo, what's up, you wanna hang out? And, and do you know where I can get any weed? And she was like, yeah, I can get you some weed. Like, this is my building right here, and uh, we can go upstairs and get you some weed right now. So I was like, oh, okay, tight. We went into uh, her apartment. There was another woman and a bigger dude there. And uh, the woman basically had probably about 15, 20 dirty syringes. And she, they basically said, we want all your shit or you're gonna be a human dartboard. You're, we're gonna fucking throw these fucking syringes at you. And there's a big dude blocking the door and shit. So at this point I'm like, okay guys, like take my shit. I got like 15 bucks. Didn't they tell you as well that the needles had HIV in them? Oh yes, yeah, no, sorry, yeah, the, the, the woman, the older woman was like, I, I have HIV, I have nothing to live for. <laughs> yeah, like you've heard of getting robbed at gunpoint and knife point, but yeah. like, here you get robbed by someone holding an HIV needle. Yeah, they're, they're creative, yeah. What's got you so mad, bro? I just become this fucking bum joke. Like you can't make 10 bucks in any fucking way, stealing, robbing, whatever, crime. Legitly going to work? Like, what the fuck is the point of life, right? Like, I can't even make 10 bucks going to work or fucking stealing or robbing or doing crime. So I suffer in hell. Yo, do you want to do a quick interview with me? You don't have to, just. Yeah, I can tell you about Hastings. Like, tell me about Hastings, buddy. Like, a young guy just learns to, like, see his fucking. his own sex is sellable. And all of a sudden, people start laughing at him or making him show or something because he's young. And it's like. Why laugh at her? How young are people selling themselves here? I know I've done it when I was like 14 and I got laughed at because like nobody really understood me when I was 14 and like why the fuck did they laugh at me like hustling ever since I was a child like I would go down there ever since I was like eight years old and like sell shit I was at stolen shit because my dad would end up in jail and shit like I never had an easy dollar like that like Hookers sell sex for what they want, like at any price, man. Mm. The grossest hookers sell it for like a hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, and it's fucking pissed me off that they like brought me down to a level of being like, oh, ten bucks. Thank you for being so open, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm 27. I've done the same thing my whole life. Have you ever tried Everything. getting like a real job? I've had a real job, but I starve while I'm working and shit. They don't pay you enough. 
yeah, I can get drugs that like clear my stress and it's just stupid how welfare just doesn't provide any more and just, like if you get like 700 on disability like oh I have to go steal now Shit, what's what's your name, bro? Justin Justin, do you have any like stories of your time here that you want to share? Life can get hard you don't have to turn to fucking doing hard drugs. So, how did you end up here, bro? I came out from Ontario with a company, a tree cutting company. Yeah. First time I've ever gone camping without the purpose of going camping. How do you, what do you do for money right now? Boosting. Just sealing shit? Yeah. Do you think there's any like hope for this place? I mean, just here? I don't need to leave this park ever. The you got you get food, through, you yeah. get clothes, you're good, right? I shower at man, I shower over at the 44. I don't need to leave. All my amenities are covered. All I gotta do is supply my cabin and my cigarettes. So is this ideal for you? No, it's not ideal. I wanna go the fuck home. You're more put together than like 90% of the people here, bro. Like that's why nobody can understand why I'm homeless. So um you're uh, you're hustling out here? Uh, yeah, yeah. How can I say? That must be pretty crazy. It's 24 hours a day. I don't do heroin, so um, so I don't get sick. But you don't have a habit. You just you just sell it. I sell it. And I smoke crack. I've okay. been smoking crack for 30 years. I've been 30 doing... years, bro. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> That's the one thing you won't say. I'm 50. I just turned 50. You actually look pretty good for 50. You... Of course I do. You, you, you dyeing your hair? Do people fuck with you? Do people try to rob you a lot or? For me, no. Yeah. Have I seen it with other people? A lot. I know this is kind of like, I don't mean to put you in the hot seat with this one, but do you ever like feel bad that you're selling this stuff? That I'm selling this stuff? Yeah. Fuck no, never. Why not? I understand what you're saying. Like if they're using, they're using. It's their choice. I believe it's a choice. I believe addiction is a choice. I don't think the shelters and all the free stuff is necessarily a good idea. Why is that? Because tough love is imperative. I mean, do you think there's any hope for this place? <coughs> if, if you decriminalize, the cost of drugs will go down, mm -hmm. the quality will go up, and if it doesn't cost you your rent, guess what? You maintain your living place, right? Yeah. The war on drugs lost. It's a failure. Big time. But you'd be out of a job if they legalized. Have you seen uh, much, much violence or like people? I remember this guy tried ripping my buddy off for ten dollars. My buddy went and got a fucking a metal stick, ran up behind him, took him out of the legs, and smacked him a couple of times for ten dollars. I don't understand why the cops are, are hated. I agree. They're just doing their job, and they're they're dealing with a nightmare out here every day. You, you know, know if it wasn't for the police, I'm pretty sure I'd be dead. I mean, people can say whatever they want about. <coughs> any of this stuff but you're, you're definitely living on the edge every day yeah. it's exciting <laughs> do you like it yeah hi um i'm making like a video about east hastings yeah. do you want to do like an interview with me <laughs> i'm philip it's nice to meet you <laughs> what's your name mary mary cool so uh so you're mary yeah. <laughs> um you're out here working yeah, <laughs> my favorite pastime. How long have you been doing that? Uh, since I became homeless. <laughs> How long since is... my husband died, then my mom died, then my apartment burned down. Oh my goodness. And, like, walking here, I got piped. <laughs> so getting anyway, getting hoping. piped means getting hit with a pipe? Yeah. That? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, listen, what is it like being a woman out here in this environment? It must be crazy. I mean, the, uh, where I work, like I've only been to that one corner. I'm scared to go anywhere else because I'll get beat up. <laughs> Who will beat you up? The working girls, yeah. The working girls will beat you up? Oh, yeah. They're territorial. Oh, yeah. So you, you kind of stick to the corner that I... That's the only one I've been at. Uh, do you do any drugs? Yep. Yeah. Well, what do you do? Everything. <laughs> My mom started me. Your mom started you? Yeah. Thank you for being so open. Do you have anything <laughs> else you want to say? Uh, no, I just uh, every day is a new day. I mean, <laughs> every day is a new day. I like that. Do you want me to drop you back in your corner? I hope so. Yeah, Michael. Yeah. I had to go to a pretty dark place to make this video. 
literally and metaphorically. If you have a safe place to go to sleep, then all I want is for this video to make you feel grateful. I also want to shout out my patrons. Big Dave, Freddy, that crazy son of a bitch, Kate, Lap Gone Long, Matt, Neil, Piggly Wiggly, Plant Lawyer, Reyes the Entrepreneur, and Top Shelf Trash. Thank you so much for the support, you guys. This video definitely cost a lot of money, the traveling and everything, so consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the comments and description. Alright, love you guys. Peace.